Introduction. Mark is the author of the book, and the nation of Israel is the audience. The book is about Israel's Messiah coming to them and being rejected. The book's events all take place in the land of Israel. Its words were spoken to Israel while they were still under the law. Galatians 4 verse 4. Its contents were a part of Israel's Old Covenant as the New Covenant and Testament could not begin until after the death of the testator. Hebrews 9 verse 16, The Setting The book of Mark begins in the middle of the 69th week of Israel's punishment mentioned by Daniel in Daniel 9 verses 24 to 27. The 70th week of Daniel is to follow Christ's being cut off, crucified. Daniel 9 verse 24, KJV, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Chapter 1 Mark 1 verse 1, KJV, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The Gospel of Jesus Christ This was the good news that Israel's long-awaited kingdom was now at hand. It would appear if Israel would repent. Mark is the only book that begins using the word gospel. The word gospel means good news. The Gospel of Mark is the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ. The Son of God, this is Jesus Christ, and Israel had to believe that Jesus was the Christ the Son of the Living God, just as Peter did when Jesus asked him who he was. Matthew 16 verse 15 He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon. Peter answered and said, Sixteen thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Mark 8 verse 29 KJV And he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answereth and saith unto him, Thou art the Christ. Luke 4 verse 41 KJV, And devils also came out of many, crying out, and saying, Thou art Christ the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. John 6 verse 69 KJV, And we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. John 11 verse 27 KJV, She saith unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. John 8 verse 24 I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. John 8 verse 24 I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. John the Baptist Mark 1 verses 2 to 3 KJV as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one, crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Malachi 3 verse 1 KJV Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Isaiah 40 verse 3 KJV, The voice of him that creeth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. The prophets, the last 17 books of what is commonly known as the Old Testament. Isaiah through Malachi. My messenger, this was John the Baptist. Thy face, thy is singular. This is speaking about the Messiah's face. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John was to prepare the hearts of the people of Israel for the Lord. Luke 1 verse 16, And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. 17. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, 
to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Ye, ye, you, and your are all plural and are to be used when talking to more than one person. Thee, thine, thou, and thy are all singular and are used in classical English when talking to an individual. Classical or Elizabethan English is used in the King James Bible. John baptizing Matthew 3 colon 1 dash 12 and Luke 3 colon 2 dash 16. Mark 1 verse 4, KJV, John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Isaiah 40 verse 3 KJV. The voice of him that creeth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. John did baptize in the wilderness. He did not minister at the temple because Judaism had become corrupted by religious leaders who exalted the traditions of men above God's word. The baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. This was a message for Israel, calling them to repentance. This was because of the covenant they made with God at Mount Sinai, which they broke. Luke 3 verse 3 KJV. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, Acts 13 verse 24 KJV, when John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. Acts 19 verse 4 KJV, then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. The baptism was for the remission of sins, not the forgiveness of sins. Prior to Christ's death on the cross, their sins had to be remitted because of the covenant they had made with God at Mount Sinai. They were still under that covenant until after the death of the testator. Hebrews 9 verse 16 KJV For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Luke 7 verses 29 to 30 KJV, and all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. Mark 1 verse 5 KJV, and there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing there sins, all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, they went out to hear John the Baptist who turned many of the children of Israel to the Lord. Luke 1 verse 16 KJV. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. His message would not have been accepted in Jerusalem at the temple. The baptism of repentance for the remission of sins was a cleansing ritual for Israel to prepare them to be priests in their kingdom that was being preached as at hand. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, confessing their sins. This was required by God for Israel to be healed as a nation. Leviticus 26 verses 40 to 42 KJV. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember and I will remember the land. Daniel 9 verses 2 to 6 KJV, In the first year of his reign I Daniel understood by books the number of the years, whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish seventy years in the desolations of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God, to seek by prayer and supplications, with fasting, and sackcloth, and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God, and made my confession, and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, 
keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled. Even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments, neither have we hearkened unto thy servants the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. Matthew 3 verse 6 KJV, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Mark 1 verse 6 KJV, and John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of a skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey. Matthew 3 verse 4 KJV. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. A girdle of skin about his loins, he dressed exactly like Elijah did in 2 Kings 1 verse 8 KJV, and they answered him, He was an hairy man, and girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he said, It is Elijah the Tishbite. A girdle is a belt. He did eat locusts and wild honey, locusts were considered clean under the law. Leviticus 11 verse 22 KJV Even these of them ye may eat, the locust after his kind, and the bald locust after his kind, and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. Mark 1 verse 6 KJV, And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of a skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey. Mark 1 verse 7, KJV, And preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after. Me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. Matthew 3 verse 11 KJV I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Luke 3 verse 16 KJV John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. John 1 verse 27 KJV, He it is, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latchet I am not worthy to unloose. The latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose John, who was Jesus' kinsman, was not able to redeem Israel from their sin, only Jesus was able to do that. This was a Jewish practice concerning a kinsman redeeming someone or something. Israel needed to be redeemed from their bondage to sin and the devil. Deuteronomy 25 verse 9 KJV Then shall his brother's wife come unto him in the presence of the elders, and loose his shoe from off his foot, and spit in his face, and shall answer and say, So shall it be done unto that man that will not build up his brother's house. Ruth 4 verse 7 KJV Now this was the manner in former time in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning changing, for to confirm all things, a man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor, and this was a testimony in Israel. Mark 1 verse 8 KJV I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. I indeed have baptized you with water, this was for Israel to be washed before they would begin their priesthood in the kingdom that was at hand. Matthew 3 verse 11 KJV I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Luke 3 verse 16 KJV John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. John 1 verses 26 and 33 KJV, John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you, whom ye know not. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending, and remaining on him, the same as he which baptizeth with the Holy Ghost. Exodus 19 verse 5 Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all. The earth is mine, six and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. 
A kingdom of priests, they would all need to be washed with clean water first and then be anointed with oil before they could begin ministering. Israel has never become that kingdom of priests yet because they have not been able to keep their promise to God that they made with him on that day. They will however become a kingdom of priests after the time of Jacob's, Israel's, trouble. Jeremiah 31 verse 31 KJV Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. This will happen when they enter into the kingdom that God prophesied in Exodus 19. And holy nation, they would be born again when the nation of Israel confess their sins and receive the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. The remission of sins was not the same as the forgiveness of sins like we have today. Israel would have their sins remitted nationally each year on the Day of Atonement. Israel will have their sins forgiven when Christ returns. Acts 3 verses 19 to 21 KJV Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Today, we are baptized by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ, the moment we believe the gospel. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13 KJV For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. John then mentioned that Jesus would baptize Israel with the Holy Ghost. This happened on the day of Pentecost. Acts 2 verse 4 KJV and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. This came to pass for those believers in the upper room to endue them with power to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 3 verse 11 KJV I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Luke 3 verse 16 KJV, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latch out of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. John 1 verse 33 KJV, And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending, and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizeth with the Holy Ghost. The priests back then would wash and anoint themselves every time they came to the tabernacle to do the service of God, and at the future temple as well. Oil is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. It wasn't a one-time washing, they washed themselves daily, just like the apostles had to pray and ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit again and again to fulfill his purposes. The Holy Spirit did not indwell them as he does us today. Acts 2 verse 4 KJV And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Acts 4 verses 8 and 31 KJV Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people, and elders of Israel. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. Israel will be sprinkled with clean water when they enter into their kingdom after the time of Jacob's trouble. Ezekiel 36 verses 22 to 28 KJV Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries, and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean, from all your filthiness, and from all your idols, will I cleanse you. 
A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments, and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Jesus baptism Matthew 3 colon 13 dash 17 Luke 3 colon 21 dash 22 and John 1 colon 29 dash 34 Mark 1 verses 9 to 10 KJV and it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan and straightway coming up out of the water he saw the heavens opened and the spirit like a dove descending upon him and was baptized of John in Jordan, the Jordan River. Here was Israel's future high priest being washed with water as all priests had to in order to begin their ministry. Exodus 24 verse 4 KJV And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early in the morning, and builded an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars, according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Isaiah 61 verse 6 KJV, But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord, men shall call you the ministers of our God, ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. The Spirit like a dove descending upon him, this was a sign to John that upon whom he saw the Spirit descending, he was the one who would baptize Israel with the Holy Ghost. Matthew 3 verse 16 KJV and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and, lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him. John 1 verse 32 KJV And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. This was Jesus' anointing to be Israel's high priest. Acts 4 verse 27 KJV for of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles, and the people of Israel, were gathered together. Acts 10 verse 38 KJV, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Jesus was the one that John the Baptist was to make manifest to Israel, and he was the one that would baptize believing Israel with the Holy Ghost. This voice came so that John would have a second witness to the sign he had just received that this was indeed the Christ that he was to make manifest to Israel. Mark 1 verse 11, KJV, And there came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew 3 verse 17 KJV And lo a voice from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Mark 12 verse 6 KJV Having yet therefore one Son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will reverence my Son. Luke 3 verses 21 to 22 KJV Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass, that Jesus also being baptized, and praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. A voice from heaven, God the Father was speaking. Jesus Temptation Matthew 4 colon 1 dash 11 and Luke 4 colon 1 dash 13. Mark 1 verses 12 to 13, KJV, And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was. With the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. The Spirit driveth him, led up of the Spirit. Matthew 4 verse 1 KJV. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Luke 4 verses 1 to 13 KJV, And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days, he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. 
And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, shewed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Forty days, the number forty occurs all too many times in the Bible to list here as a number related to testing. Tempted of Satan, Luke lets us know Jesus was tempted during the forty days as well as on the last day. Luke 4 verse 2 KJV Being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days, he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. The reasons for Satan tempting Jesus are numerous, but he ultimately wanted to disqualify Jesus from being able to be Israel's kinsman redeemer. By Satan getting Jesus to sin, he would not be able to redeem another sinner. The angels ministered unto him, this was probably after Jesus, the last Adam, did what the first Adam failed to do. He resisted Satan's temptations by quoting God's word to him perfectly. Eve misquoted what God had told Adam originally, which may have been Adam's fault. He should have corrected her statement to Satan, but he didn't. John is in prison Matthew 4.12 and Luke 3.20. Mark 1 verse 14, KJV, Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. John was put in prison, two months after Jesus' baptism. John 3 verse 24 KJV For John was not yet cast into prison. Jesus begins preaching Matthew 4 17 and Luke 4 colon 14 dash 15. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Galilee, it is called Galilee of the nations in Isaiah 9 verses 1 to 7 KJV. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, in Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation, and not increased the joy, they joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. And Galilee of the Gentiles in Matthew 4 verse 15 KJV, the land of Zabulon, and the land of Nephthalim, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. It is in the northern part of Israel in the lands belonging to Zebulun and Naphtali. The gospel of the kingdom, the gospel that Jesus preached was the same one that John preached about the kingdom being at hand. Matthew 3 verses 1 to 2 KJV. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 4 verse 23 KJV, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Mark 1 verse 15 
KJV and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand, repent ye and believe the gospel. The time is fulfilled, Matthew 4 verse 17 says, from that time. This was speaking about the 69th week of Daniel which had arrived, so their long-awaited kingdom was now at hand. Daniel 9 verses 24 to 27 KJV. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city, to finish the transgression, and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand, that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks, the street shall be built again, and the wall even in troublous times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. The kingdom of God is at hand, also called the kingdom of heaven. It was at hand six months earlier when John began to preach. Matthew 3 verse 2 KJV and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Luke 16 verse 16 KJV The law and the prophets were until John, since that time the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. Matthew 4 verse 17 KJV From that time Jesus began to preach, and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel, the nation needed to repent of their unbelief and believe the good news, the gospel, that the kingdom was at hand. If they as a nation would repent and believe the good news, then the kingdom would soon follow. Matthew 4 verses 17 and 23 KJV From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Israel did not repent as a nation, and they rejected their king, so the kingdom has been put on hold during the present dispensation of grace. Jesus calls his first disciples Matthew 4, 18-22 and Luke 5, 1-11. Mark 1 verse 16, KJV, Now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. John 1 verses 40 to 42 KJV. One of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Meshes, which is, being interpreted, the Christ and he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation, a stone. The Sea of Galilee, it is a large freshwater lake that is connected to the Jordan River. Simon, he is also called Peter and Cephas. Mark 1 verses 17 to 20, KJV, And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. This is the second time Jesus called the disciples unto himself, there would be a third time as well. These can be seen in the other gospel accounts. The first time was after the baptism of Jesus. John 1 verses 40 to 42 KJV. One of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon and saith unto him, We have found the Meshes, which is, being interpreted, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, 
Thou art Simon the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation, a stone. Jesus cast out an unclean spirit Luke 4 colon 31 dash 37. Mark 1 verse 21, KJV, And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. The Sabbath day, it was the seventh day of the week, which began at sunset Friday evening, and went until sunset Saturday evening. Exodus 16 verse 23 KJV And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord, Bake that which you will bake today, and seethe that ye will seethe, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. The synagogue, this is a Jewish place of teaching. Mark 1 verses 22 to 23, KJV, And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out. His doctrine, the scribes had no authority to proclaim the kingdom was at hand as Jesus professed. An unclean spirit, this is a devil. For the kingdom to be established, the land would have to be cleansed from all unclean spirits. This act was a sign to the nation of Israel that their king was here, and their kingdom was at hand if they would repent. Since Israel alone was to become a kingdom of priests in the kingdom, and Satan was to be bound during that kingdom, Jesus went about binding every devil, unclean spirit, he saw. Mark 1 verse 24, KJV, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Art thou come to destroy us? This is similar to the question asked by a legion of devils in Matthew 8 verse 29 KJV, And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? The Holy One of God, this is a title used often in the Old Testament where God is called the Holy One of Israel. Psalm 71 verse 22 KJV I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God, unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou Holy One of Israel. Mark 1 verses 25 to 27, KJV, And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him, and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority common death he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. Hold thy peace and come out of him. These were two commands that showed Jesus' power over the devils by demanding their silence and obedience. He came to set the captives in Israel free so that they may become a kingdom of priests in their kingdom. What new doctrine is this? The chief priests, Pharisees and Sadducees did not have authority over the devil. This was not something new to the scriptures. Isaiah 61 verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Notice what Paul, the apostle of the Gentiles, had to say about whether Jesus preached some new doctrine or not. Romans 15 verse 8 Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Mark 1 verse 28 KJV And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Jesus was not teaching some new doctrine, but he was confirming the promises already made to Israel's ancestors back to Abraham. Jesus heals Simon's wife's mother Luke for colon 38-39. Mark 1 verses 29-31, KJV, and forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. 
Simon's wife's mother, Simon Peter had a wife, and his wife's mother was sick with a fever, so Jesus healed her of it immediately. Anon, immediately, Jesus heals many people Matthew 4 colon 23-25 and Luke 4 colon 40-41. Mark 1 verses 32 to 34, KJV, And at even, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with devils. And all the city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases, and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. He healed many that were sick of diverse diseases. He did this because there will be no sickness in the kingdom and because a requirement to be a priest was that the individuals could not have any infirmities of the flesh. Leviticus 21 verses 17 to 23 KJV Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generations that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach, a blind man, or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed, or broken-handed, or crook-backed, or a dwarf, or that hath a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy, or scabbed, or hath his stones broken. No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. He shall eat the bread of his God, both of the most holy and of the holy. Only he shall not go in unto the veil, nor come nigh unto the altar, because he hath a blemish, that he profane not my sanctuaries, for I the Lord do sanctify them. And cast out many devils, this was a sign to Israel that he was able to bind the devil in the kingdom. Revelation 20 verse 2 KJV And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, the Jews require a sign. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22 KJV For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Jesus prays. Mark 1 verse 35 KJV, and in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. Isaiah 50 verse 4 KJV, The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning, he wakeneth mine ear to hear as the learned. Mark 1 verses 36 to 39, KJV, and Simon and they that were with him followed after him. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, for therefore came I forth. And he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and cast out devils. All men seek for thee. This was because of the healings that they had received of him. Therefore came I forth, Jesus came to preach the gospel of the kingdom to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel so that they may enter into their eternal kingdom. Matthew 10 verses 5 to 8 KJV These twelve Jesus sent forth, and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. Matthew 15 verse 24 KJV, But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus heals a leper Matthew 8 colon 1 dash 4 and Luke 5 colon 12 dash 15. Mark 1 verse 40 KJV, and there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. A leper, they were considered to be unclean according to the law. Leviticus 13 verse 45 KJV, and the leper in whom the plague is, his clothes shall be rent, and his head bare, and he shall put a covering upon his upper lip, and shall cry, Unclean, unclean. They were put out of the camp of Israel and unable to offer sacrifices for themselves. Leviticus 14 Thou canst make me clean, only God could cure someone of leprosy. 
2 Kings 5 verse 114 KJV Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master, and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God my Lord were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to, go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed, and took with him ten talents of silver, and six thousand pieces of gold, and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Naaman my servant to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. And it came to pass, when the king of Israel had read the letter, that he rent his clothes, and said, Am I God, to kill and to make alive, that this man doth send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. And it was so, when Elisha the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth, and went away, and said, Behold, I thought, he will surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. Are not Abana and Farber, rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them, and be clean? So, he turned and went away in a rage. And his servants came near, and spake unto him, and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather then, when he saith to thee, Wash, and be clean? Then went he down, and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. This meant that a person was ritually clean and could offer sacrifices. Leviticus 10 verse 10 KJV And that ye may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean. Mark 1 verses 41 to 44 KJV And Jesus, moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and saith unto him, I will, be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. And he straightly charged him, and forthwith sent him away, and saith unto him, See thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way, shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. Put forth his hand, and touched him, Jesus touched a leper, but it was only when he spoke the words, Be thou clean, that he was cleansed of his leprosy. In Leviticus 5 verse 3 a person could not touch a leper, or they too would become unclean. Jesus was no ordinary person. He became sin for us who knew no sin. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 KJV For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Shew thyself to the priest, they would declare if a leper were clean or not. Leviticus 14 verses 1 to 3 KJV And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing, he shall be brought unto the priest, and the priest shall go forth out of the camp, and the priest shall look, and behold, if the plague of leprosy be healed in the leper. Offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded, Israel was still under the law when Jesus came to Israel. Leviticus 14 verses 4 to 32 KJV Then shall the priest command to take for him that is to be cleansed two birds alive and clean, and cedar wood, 
and scarlet and hyssop, and the priest shall command that one of the birds be killed in an earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he shall take it, and the cedar wood, and the scarlet, and the hyssop, and shall dip them and the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he shall sprinkle upon him that is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and shall pronounce him clean, and shall let the living bird loose into the open field. And he that is to be cleansed shall wash his clothes, and shave off all his hair, and wash himself in water, that he may be clean, and after that he shall come into the camp, and shall tarry abroad out of his tent seven days. But it shall be on the seventh day, that he shall shave all his hair off his head, and his beard, and his eyebrows, even all his hair he shall shave off, and he shall wash his clothes, also he shall wash his flesh in water, and he shall be clean. And on the eighth day he shall take two he lambs without blemish, and one ewe lamb of the first year without blemish, and three tenth deals of fine flour for a meat offering, mingled with oil, and one log of oil. And the priest that mocketh him clean shall present the man that is to be made clean, and those things, before the Lord, at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the priest shall take one he lamb, and offer him for a trespass offering, and the log of oil, and wave them for a wave offering before the Lord, and he shall slay the lamb in the place where he shall kill the sin offering and the burnt offering in the holy place, for as the sin offering is the priest's, so is the trespass offering, it is most holy, and the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering, and the priest shall put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot, and the priest shall take some of the log of oil, and pour it into the palm of his own left hand, and the priest shall dip his right finger in the oil that is in his left hand, and shall sprinkle of the oil with his finger seven times before the Lord, and of the rest of the oil that is in his hand shall the priest put upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot upon the blood of the trespass offering, and the remnant of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall pour upon the head of him that is to be cleansed, and the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Lord. And the priest shall offer the sin offering and make an atonement for him that is to be cleansed from his uncleanness, and afterward he shall kill the burnt offering, and the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the meat offering upon the altar, and the priest shall make an atonement for him, and he shall be clean. And if he be poor and cannot get so much, then he shall take one lamb for a trespass offering to be waved, to make an atonement for him, and one tenth deal of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, and a log of oil, and two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, such as he is able to get, and the one shall be a sin offering, and the other a burnt offering. And he shall bring them on the eighth day for his cleansing unto the priest, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, before the Lord. And the priest shall take the lamb of the trespass offering, and the log of oil, and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord, and he shall kill the lamb of the trespass offering, and the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering, and put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall pour of the oil into the palm of his own left hand. And the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand seven times before the Lord, and the priest shall put of the oil that is in his hand upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot, upon the place of the blood of the trespass offering. And the rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall put upon the head of him that is to be cleansed, to make an atonement for him before the Lord. And he shall offer the one of the turtle doves, or of the young pigeons, such as he can get, even such as he is able to get, the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering, with the meat offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for him that is to be cleansed before the Lord. This is the law of him in whom is the plague of leprosy, whose hand is not able to get that which pertaineth to his cleansing. Luke 17 verses 11 to 20 KJV, And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices, and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shoe. 
yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that, as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, Galatians 4 verse 4 KJV, but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, but when the fullness of time come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law. For a testimony unto them, the healed lepers that followed Jesus' words were for a testimony unto the priests that Jesus was the Messiah and that he followed the law. Mark 1 verse 45, KJV, But he went out and began to publish it much and to blaze abroad the matter, insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city but was without in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter. To blaze abroad, to proclaim. It did not matter to this former leper that Jesus charged him to say nothing to any man, because he went right out and did the exact opposite. He chose to do his own thing without God, just like Israel had done.